Scandium is also used for strong alloys. Scandium and aluminum combined make a light but strong alloy used for sport equipment and fighting units. It's also used for piping us. Scandium? Scandium? A lot of high-end parts in different industries are made from titanium, especially in aerospace technology, and even on the James Webb or rocket technology. It's even used in hypercars, cars like Pagani and Bugatti that cost millions of dollars. Vanadium is a chemical element with the symbol we and atomic number 23. It is a hard, silvery-gray, malleable, transition metal. Vanadium has a melting point of 1,910 degrees Celsius and a boiling point of 3,407 degrees Celsius. And atomic number 23. Today, I want to tell you about the hardest metal on earth, chromium. Manganese is the worst alloy. Manganese wants magnesium so badly, it's just a copycat with a phony! It's just a pointless metal. It's not significant whatsoever, it's just a terrible addition to the periodic table. <laughs> Concept of the cobalt bomb, a weapon with the power to potentially destroy humanity. It's nickel. Without it, our modern world wouldn't function. It's a reddish metal that is atomic number 29 on the periodic table. It is one of the first metals extracted and used by humans. Since the beginning of civilization, the metal has made key contributions to sustaining and improving society. Zinc is a mineral that's present in many of the body's functions. Zinc supports your immune system. Zinc has an impact in the process of healing wounds. Because your body can't store this important mineral, don't take it for granted and think zinc. Gallium is a very soft metal. It is used in electronics, it is a good semiconductor, it is used in high temperature thermometers, and nuclear medicine tests. Germanium is the first element in the periodic table, beginning at hydrogen, that's named after a country. It's named after Germany. It's used quite widely as a so-called semiconducting material. The only way you make germanium is in exploding massive stars. <laughs> Arsenic's an element and it's classified as a metalloid, which means that it has properties that are between a metal and a non-metal. 
It can sometimes be found in its pure form like this. It was pretty common to use it to kill people. specifically wanted to make bromine. Bromine's an element that's similar to chlorine, and it's a very angry, blood-red liquid. It's also one of my favorite elements, but that isn't the only reason that I wanted to make it. It's because it was one of my first garage projects that I felt was really pushing the boundary of safety. It has always stuck out in my mind as the first video that I really started to challenge myself and to push the limit of what I could do at home. I remember preparing for ages to make sure that I could handle everything and anything that could go wrong. I also remember some of my chemist friends telling me that I was going to die doing it. To say the least, my name from the Greek Kryptos means hidden and it's aptly chosen. I'm almost completely unreactive, colorless, odorless, and tasteless. And I'm only present in the atmosphere in vanishing small amounts. Don't confuse me with the fictional home planet of Superman and the source of his nemesis, Kryptonite. Krypton number 36. The soft silver white metal. It's its name from the Latin word rubidus, meaning deep red, which is the color that salts produce when burned. Rubidium is classified as an alkali metal. It lies in the periodic table's fifth row, period 5. Each rubidium atom consists of a cloud of electrons surrounding a compact nucleus that contains almost all the atom's mass. In the most common form of rubidium, its nucleus has 37 positively charged protons. Choose any element in the fifth row. There are a lot of possible answers for this. Could be strontium. <laughs> This is Ytterium. Ytterium is a chemical element with a symbol Y and atomic number 39. It is a silvery metallic metal, chemically similar to lanthanides and has often been classified as a rare earth element. This is zirconium. Zirconium is a chemical element with the symbol ZR and atomic number 40. Zirconium is a lustrous, grayish-white, soft, ductile, malleable metal. We examine the fundamentals for niobium, including its uses, current and future demand, as well as current and future supply factors. Niobium is predominantly used in the manufacturing of high strength low alloy steel. Some of the molybdenum had gained a proton transmuted into element 43. They named the element Tesla. I thought it referred to somewhere in Middle Europe, perhaps in Czechoslovakia, whereas ruthenium actually comes from Russia. Привет. To your mind when you hear about the most valuable metal on the world. We bet a lot of people think about gold, silver, or platinum first. But in reality, those are somewhere in the middle of the list by their value in the commodity market. 
The most expensive metal on Earth is, in fact, rhodium. Palladium is a highly prized commodity. It commands more monetary value than gold and is 30 times as rare, making it an essential component of the new green economy. Palladium is by far the more effective metal at emissions reduction. Since birth, we are unknowingly conditioned to believe gold is better than silver. In the Olympics, first place is gold, second place is silver. Movies highlight gold as a treasure and something to be desired. Silver is... I am better! Cadmium is a chemical element with the symbol CD and atomic number 48. This soft, silvery white metal is chemically similar to the two other stable metals in group 12, zinc and mercury. Very interesting metal, indium. It's in the third group of the periodic table of chemical elements below gallium. Indium is unusual because it is the softest metal that you can actually hold in your hands. Indium. Indium.